What's up everybody, today I'm in the streets of Los Angeles to find out how much it costs to live here. As I have a few days here, I wanted to make another cost of living in video for you. As an example, I will show the usual low budget lifestyle. Now remember, you might be the type of person that goes out every night and spends a lot of money on food and drinks, but everyone is different and spends money in a different way. I will now show you the example of George. But who is George? This is George. He is a simple and happy man with a simple life. This is everything he needs to pay for in a month. 50 liters of water, 5 liters of milk, 2 kilograms of fries, 2 kilograms of bread, 10 kilograms of seasonal veggies, 15 kilograms of seasonal fruits, 8 kilograms of meat, 12 eggs, public transportation, 4 times a 10 minute cab ride, 20 coffees at bar, 10 beers, 2 bottles of mid-range wine, 2 movie theater tickets, health insurance, haircut, a gym membership, the rent for a one bedroom or studio apartment, mobile phone and internet subscription, toiletries and one pair of t-shirt and pants. George works remotely on his computer. The following expenses are all in US dollars. For the grocery products I went to Ralph's, the locals I asked told me that it's a store where you can get products with good price quality ratio. 50 liters of water costs $10. In Los Angeles tap water varies from area to area. I wouldn't recommend drinking it but if you do use a filter. 5 liters of milk will cost $4. 2 kilograms of rice are $6. For 2 kilograms of bread George will pay $8. 10 kilograms of mixed seasonal veggies cost $30. 15 kilograms of mixed seasonal fruits will cost $35. For 8 kilograms of mixed meat, George will pay $70. 12 eggs cost $2. 10 beers and 2 bottles of mid-range wine will cost $25. And for some toiletries products, George will spend around $30 for a total of $220. In my opinion, in LA you need absolutely to have a car if you don't want to be stranded. And the reason why is because the city is so huge and if you wanted to be able to move freely, you definitely need a car. Although there is public transportation available in some parts of LA, I don't feel comfortable recommending it. I used the subway once and it was not pleasant. If you're gonna live in an area where you're sure there are good connections with the bus or the metro, you could use them. Just try it out before committing to any plan. I read different studies that say it will cost you around $7,000 a year to own a small sedan assuming you drive 15,000 miles equivalent to 24,000 kilometers a year. That's with different cost factors included except parking costs. So we will assume George spends around $580 a month to own a car in LA. Hi, I'm Andrea, yeah. For a 10 minute lift ride, you can expect to pay around $6 for four times a month, that's $24. Lift is similar to Uber. For a $10 discount on your first ride, use my link in the description below. A regular coffee at the bar will cost you around $4.50 for 20 coffees a month, that's $90. One movie theater ticket is $14, for two movies a month, that's $28. If you are an American citizen, you probably already have health insurance, or at least you know how expensive it is. As George is an expat, he will take out one of these private health insurances for about $260 a month, giving him hospitalization and outpatient treatment. 
A haircut in West Hollywood was about $30. I went to LA Fitness which is a good gym with lots of machines and their employee told me that you'll pay about $40 a month including the initiation fee to go there. About the apartments in Los Angeles, I would recommend renting something outside the city and not near downtown or the Hollywood area. As I said before, LA is a big city so there are a lot of different places you could rent. For example, San Pedro, Van Nuys or the El Monte area are very good areas to rent. And if you own a car, it will be very easy to go anywhere. If you don't drive, I wouldn't recommend going too far out as there won't be any public transportation. This one bedroom apartment of 541 square feet equivalent to 50 square meters in the vicinity of Montecito Heights will cost you $1,300 a month. A similar apartment in Pasadena will cost you about $1,400. Living in Pasadena is a very good option in my opinion. You'll be close to the city but you won't have to deal with the downsides of living in the center of LA. It's only a 20 minutes drive to LA downtown and this is the option George will get. For the phone contract I went to T-Mobile and they told me that with $50 a month you have unlimited talk and unlimited data. For the internet at home and TV with Spectrum George will pay $100 a month and that makes a total of $150 a month for the phone contract and the Wi-Fi at home. For a pair of pants and a t-shirt at H&M, George will need $30. Considering all the previous expenses, George will need about $2,850 a month to live in Los Angeles. If after all I showed you, you're still skeptical, let's hear someone who's actually been living here for the past 20 years. I would good say uh, you want to go towards East LA, like to the El Monte area. Uh, you know, the area is very, it's nice, it's safe, it's the least expensive. El Monte? Yeah, El Monte. Right. Um, Pasadena, it, what do you think about that? Pasadena is, it's, um, it's a nice area as well. It's, I, is it too far from the city? No. No, it's not that far. It's like 20 minutes away. Um, but yeah, Pasadena is really good as well. Uh, I, I think, in my opinion, it's, it's also very expensive. Right. Um, and then you have San, uh, the area of uh, Santana, you know, th those areas is really nice. Uh, uh, also uh, safe. Uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. West is, Hollywood. Hollywood, West Hollywood is expensive. Uh, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah. A bit dirty. Yeah. You know. Um, I noticed there are a lot of like crazy people around. I yeah. don't want to be offensive, but <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I well, yeah. I think there's crazy people everywhere, you know. Yeah. Um, but like uh, high rate crime areas, I would say South LA, South you know, LA. Compton. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of gang violence yeah. around those areas. Um, you know, there's also poor neighborhoods, you know, and, and that's why you know people result into gang. Yeah. Um, uh, um, yeah. For me, in my opinion, you need to have a car here. Right, yeah, LA is it's pretty big, you know, you have to yeah. have a car. Uh, but, it, you know, traffic is horrible. Yeah. Um, so, you know, biking around LA is also convenient. If you're clo close to where you yeah. work, you can commute with yeah, with bikes. With and bikes, stuff like yeah, that. definitely. Or Lyft, Uber, maybe. Well, it can get expensive after Yeah, it gets expensive with traffic, you know, Lyft, yeah. Lyft and Uber gets expensive. Yeah, it might be something like that. Uh, public transportation has gotten better over the years. It's gotten better. Yeah, over yeah. the years, as opposed to like but 10 But still years it ago. doesn't cover all the... It doesn't, yeah. no. Because it's so big. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as you know, uh, like if you read about like European nations, they have a better public transportation than yes. LA does. You know, they even have bullet trains. Yeah. I mean, we don't even have that here in, in, in uh, California or even in the US. Yeah. You know, that would be convenient to travel from city to city. Yes. Yeah. I would say $2,000 a month, you know, to, to live comfortable. Yeah. You know, rent ranges about probably uh, for a single apartment or a studio, it's like 13 or a thousand dollars, you right. know? And it's then, a minimum. Yeah, a minimum. Yeah. Thousand dollars. Right. And then, you know, there's rooms for rent for like anybody, like it'll be like 700 or 600 dollars. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. So I would say, yeah, two thousand dollars a month. I went to Ralph's. Ralph's? I know there is Trader Joe's, um, right. Publix, uh, Whole Foods. 
Yeah, those those are are. are but I mean, good. Whole Foods, for example, is very niche. I mean, it's expensive. Right. It's healthy yeah. food. Um, I would say. Costco, you know. Costco, Costco yeah. yeah. You can Costco, buy a lot Wal of, yeah. yeah, Walmart. Uh, you know, but those areas get uh, full with people. You know, long lines. Target, Target as, well. as well. Yeah. So th those areas are, are are nice areas to shop for groceries. You know, for for your household needs. Right. You just gotta In have Los a Angeles. job. You that's all. A good hustle. You have good a, you know, you just have to have a good hustle. Yeah. That's what. A lot of people said. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you know, you just have a. It's a lay. You know, you, you have to hustle everywhere you go. You know. Yes. Uh, you gotta like sell anything. Like right here, you see street vendors making their money selling hot dogs. You know. Yeah. Um, there are a lot like, of great creative people yeah. here in LA. Yeah. yeah. I think it's all about creativity. You know, it's it's very diverse yeah, too. Very you know, so you have a lot of cultures. You know, coming into one. You know, and then you, that's why you see all over the streets. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, LA is fun, you know, uh, everything in LA is really close, you know, you have Universal Studios Hollywood, you have uh, LA Live, you know, you have the beaches close to you, you know, th th those are my uh, favorite. Uh, and the weather maybe? And the weather as well, you know, I have, you have a little bit of everything, you have cold, hot, women. Uh, rainy days, women as well, you know. <laughs> I, I would say that, but the least favorite is that it's very expensive to live in LA. Very expensive. Yeah. Prices to eat out can vary. On average, I'd say that in a medium range restaurant, you'll pay about $30 to have lunch. So in my opinion, there are two big downsides in LA uh, when owning a car. And number one is finding a parking spot. Often you will have to pay for it. And if you don't want to pay for it, you have to search uh, a parking spot first. And the second downside is the LA traffic, the famous LA traffic. But you know what? For me, I have the solution and it's called Audible. So the surprising event. Two I can listen and learn something new every minute I'm stuck in traffic. And so I'm not wasting my time. If you want to do the same, link is in the description down below. So this concludes this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a some thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I will see you next time in another part of the world. Bye, guys.